It's been another sad day today as armed robbers stepped up, uh, stepped up their terror against unarmed Ghanaians. They struck again minutes after Interior Minister went on radio to announce that the country's security is in full control of the situation. And now there are calls for soldiers to be deployed onto the streets to deal with the increasing spate of armed robberies before the situation gets out of hand. There are also plans to provide helicopters to clamp down on these robberies. Before all of that, let's bring you the situation at the Tema industrial area where the latest robbery took place. Now, the robbers have shot dead a man who went to, to the bank to withdraw about 200,000 Ghana cities for the payment of salaries. We can go live now. Jacqueline is there for us. Hello, Jacqueline. Do we know how this happened? Yes. Um, according to accounts from a witness at the scene, the, the victim was driving to his office, which is not very far from where the incident happened from when he, ret when he was returning from the bank. Hmm. Um, so just a cab into the lane to his office, there was a 4x4 Pijaro with tinted glass, who just crossed its way and then got out of the car, fired warning shots into the air and asked the man to unlock his door. The witness was parked right behind the victim's car, so he had a live witness of everything that happened. And according to him, the victim refused to open the door to his car. So the attacker shot the window to the driver's side and opened the boot, took out the money. And an attempt by the victim to follow the attackers, um, the attackers just did two other shots, which went direct into his head that led to his death. So he died on the spot. What is happening at the moment? The workers from his company around, um, the, his, uh, um, the witnesses from nearby companies, um, people are just in shock. You know, it was broad day around 9 a.m. and they didn't expect such a thing to happen. So mm. everybody's in a state of shock. People are out of their offices just hanging around the scene and in disbelief. Right. What, what have they been telling you? Have they been speaking at all? Um, According to them, this is a daily routine of the victim. Every morning when he comes to the office, he goes to the bank and does his deposit, whatever he needs to do, and return back. But according to one witness, one of the attackers was seated at the junction to the office, the junction where the incident happened since morning. They had seen um, a car park. They had seen the 4x4 four four car park. And then the witness had seen one of the attackers sit at the junction. But they didn't suspect anything because it's a road a lot of people use. So they didn't suspect until mm -hmm. the incident happened. And then the witness was describing the car before other workers were, you know, attending to the fact that they had seen this car pass here since morning. They just didn't know that was the plan they had. Mm. Do, do you see any police personnel on, 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 on site or at the crime scene? No, not at the moment. But when we arrived, we asked for information. The company um, of the victim called the police, and then they had been here earlier to do the investigation and had left. Do we know anything and about the family? Coming. Do we know anything about the family of the deceased? Are they there at the moment? Have you spoken to any of them? No, we haven't had contact with any family. He's believed to be um, a Lebanese man in his sixties who has been one of the past twenty years and working with Delta Agro. But his family is believed to be overseas. Just some of his co workers who are Lebanese who are around who are unwilling to speak to us. Mm. As we speak, people are still in shock, you say. The police are not there at the moment, but it, uh, what do you see where you are? Is, has his body been taken away? Or what, what's happening? Yes, the body was taken away as soon as the attackers drove off. Um, but when you come to the scene, you can see the car with the windows, you know, with the shots uh, fired and the windows cracked, you can see the blood of the victim on his feet. And the car drove into the yard of the nearby um, warehouse so that the, the fencing of the warehouse is broken. And yeah, that, that's what the scene looks like. But there's no police around still um, open and people are just trooping in and taking pictures of wherever it's happening. Jacqueline, thank you very much for that update. We'll be, I'm sure we'll be getting back to you if, as and when there is any um, new information. But Jacqueline there with that update from the Tema Industrial Area. The latest robbery. Now, this latest incident adds to an already heightened insecurity in parts of the country after yet yesterday's deadly attack at the Royal uh, Motors Company here uh, in Accra, the North Industrial Area. 